All right, uh, let's see. Matthew 28. Go ye therefore and baptize all nations in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, that's three. All right. Deuteronomy 6, 4. The Lord our God is one. No, wait, clear. Father plus one. Son plus one. Holy Spirit plus one equals three. The Lord our God, the Lord is one. I'm just not getting it, folks. Deuteronomy tells us that the Lord is one. And yet, in, in Matthew over here, it, it says that the Father is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Um, according to my calculator, one plus one plus one equals three, but according to Deuteronomy, one plus one plus one equals one. <laughs> But you know what? The math doesn't need to add up because it's God's math. This weekend is Holy Trinity Sunday, when we worship and honor and praise and look at the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So actually, Deuteronomy and Matthew is correct. We have one God, yet three distinct persons of the Godhead. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now, to make it simple for you, we do worship a triune God, one God, yet three distinct Godheads or persons of that Trinity. God the Father, our Creator, God the Son, our Redeemer, and God the Holy Spirit, our Sanctifier. And so we thank God for all blessings as one God, but yet we get thank God for creating us, for redeeming us, and for sanctifying us or keeping us in the faith. So you know what? You can put away your calculators because you're not going to need them because the math doesn't add up. According to God, the math will always add up. One plus one plus one does equal three and one. This has been Pastor Connie, or should I say, three minutes with Pastor Connie. And always remember Luke 1, semicolon 37. Have a great day. Take care. God bless. Put this away. Open up this. See you soon.